Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a little bit of a tutorial on how to play Mal Avor. He's a great hero. He's currently available in the cubes because the Raven's Wound event is on. It was Haytham last time. It's now Avor. He's very good, very fun hero to play, but he's a little bit complicated. And some people, especially who I've spoke to, don't know when to activate his Viking's Revenge and sometimes just don't it. The ability just doesn't work for them because they're using it at the wrong time. So we're going to break it down, when to use the ability, when not to use the ability, and basically how to get the best out of the ability because you can kind of mess yourself up by using a few of other of Eivor's other abilities. So Viking's Revenge, what is it? It absorbs 100% of all unmitigated incoming damage for one tick. So basically if you're taking trap damage, bleed damage, it doesn't absorb that it will only absorb a direct hit from the enemy so a contact hit hit your next attack deals normal damage plus 250 percent of damage absorbed recharge tick recharge time is three ticks so basically if you was to absorb 100 damage you're going to be dealing 250 um, damage back on top of your normal attack that's just how it works obviously you know if you if you absorb a thousand damage, it's two thousand five hundred. You just times it by two hundred and fifty percent, right? But what you can do is you can mess yourself up by activating this ability and then slowing the enemy. The hindering blow strikes for one hundred and twenty-five percent damage and slows the enemy's attack speed by thirty-five percent for ten ticks. So, if you slow the enemy down and activate the ability, they might not attack you because you've slowed them down and therefore. You've used the ability at the wrong time. You're not going to absorb any damage. That will drop off. The enemy will hit you and you won't absorb nothing. You've gained nothing by having it. So let's jump into Story 28. I was trying this on Story 27. But in all fairness, I was absolutely... It was just... I've tried three or four times and I'm just critting people, killing them outright. And yeah, just really struggling to actually showcase the ability. Right. We're going to jump over here with Eivor. Uh, right, let's just get this off. Just worst case, worse. He takes a little bit too much of a pounding. Um, he's going to fail this. It is what it is. Don't matter. He can hobble over. Right, there you go. Right, so now this enemy is a sword enemy. And weapon speed is very key on this. So I'm going to attack him normally. Because I don't want to slow him down just yet. And he's missed. A lot of people miss me and dodge. I mean, this isn't helping me with the video whatsoever. But right. I've clicked the absorb. I'm not going to use the slow ability because if I do, he's going to hit me less. So I hit him. I'm dodging left, right and centre. That's still active at the minute, but I'm going to attack him now and that's going to drop off. So I don't actually absorb anything because I've literally missed every single attack. Well, he's missed every single attack. He possibly could on me. I don't know why I've got Lupo with me still. I should have brought Gaspar. Right. So let's jump down here. Right, let's hit him on the head. Right, so now I'm going to activate this. And hopefully I'll do this and he's going to hit me and I've absorbed the damage. Right, if I'd slowed him, he would still have hit me back in time for me to absorb damage because his weapon speed is so fast. But you have to bear this in mind when you're fighting enemies with long swords or hammers because their weapon speed is slower. So by the time they attack you, the ability's dropped off. So... I'm going to just hit him back again. That did a lot more damage than it normally would. Uh, we'll just finish him. We'll just get him in the bin. Um, so here we go. So we've got an, a massive axe enemy here now. So if I slow him, if I go into his slowed, he's hit me back there. Now, if I activate this ability, hit him, he's not going to hit me back. So I've, I should have activated that ability now, but I haven't. I activated it the tick before. So I'm going to hit him again. Now he's hit me back. The ability has dropped off because I've slowed him. Rather than us trading blow for blow, I managed to get two hits in before he hit me back. And because of that, I activate the ability too early and I did not absorb any damage. So let's just finish him off again. It's not too bad with these enemies. You can slow them because their weapon speed is a lot better now. I've got that off. Boom. He's hit me back. I've absorbed the damage. He's too quick for me to slow down to make that big of a difference. But 
you see previously how we completely messed up when to prop that ability. So against sword heroes, you're pretty, pretty free to kind of let it off whenever you want because they're so fast. I'm going to do this. I'm going to attack normally. I'm not going to slow him. He's missed. This ability is going to drop off now. I've, att I've attacked him, but we'll just knock him out. I'm dodging left, right, and center. I'll have activated the ability again, and he's hit me. There you go. I've absorbed the damage. Now, if I go for a little bit of a smack back, we're just doing lots more damage. I mean, that was what? 3 uh, 5 three, one, weren't it? And our normal attack is 3 3 3 6. So, just by absorbing that damage, you're just, you know, it's nice just dealing that little extra bit of damage back. No point propping the ability now. Boom, he's in the bin. See you later. Uh, we will uh, we will have to activate this in the last room if we can get that far. I'm pretty sure we can. Uh, right, let's use this on Eivor. I should have really brought Gasper in as well, um, just so I can showcase him a bit better. Because of all the traps. Right, we failed that. This dude's going to come up, smack us, he gets initiative. Again, activate uh, Vikings Revenge. We're free to do whatever we want here. He's going to hit us. Not an issue. So let's just do that. Lower his defense. And then bang, we'll both do that because we absorbed the damage. We're just hitting that a little bit harder. We can do it again. Even if we, well, we killed him out, right? But even if we'd slowed him down, right? So here we go. I'm going to show you how to use. Right, I'll activate this now, actually. Right. So he is a longsword enemy. Hits very, very slowly. So I'm going to get this off. Reduce his weapon speed. He went to hit me. I've dodged it. Now I'm not going to activate this ability now because if I do. The next time he hits me, I'm not going to absorb anything. So I'm going to lower his defense. Now I'm going to activate it. Now I'm going to hit him. And he's going to hit me back. I absorbed the damage, but I blocked, which is awesome. This is the one good thing about Eivor. If you, I find he blocks a lot more when I've activated the ability I just did before going into the room. Now I've blocked that. I've taken zero damage, and I've absorbed 700 and God knows what damage. Fire that back but obviously i missed the attack so i should have brought the polydorus with me so that all that damage that i love the absorbed doesn't matter so i've attacked i'll do this again now because i get a second turn to attack he's going to hit me i've absorbed the damage and that's the thing you've got to know when to use this ability if i instantly hit that i wouldn't have taken the um the that like absorbed the damage it just yeah would have gone wrong so again Hit this enemy here. Um, I'll block that. So if I then click absorb and slow him, he's not going to hit me. And I've just messed it up. So there you go, see? Oh, no, he actually managed to get a hit off then. Right, that's fine. We'll throw one of these back at him. But you can see what I mean. Um, it's just about knowing the time. Like With dagger enemies, they hit you so fast and so quickly that you can get this off willy-nilly. Um Again, Sword Hero, doesn't matter if we slow him down. He's going to take a year walking over to him. Right, boom, he's done that. Uh, we've slowed him, doesn't matter. He's going to get an attack off regardless, but we're dodging. It really, this game just really doesn't help you showcase things sometimes. The RNG in this game is absolutely ridiculous. So we're not going to slow him down this time. We'll lower his defence. He's hit me. Now, if I get Vikings Revenge off, go for a normal attack, he's hit me back. So that's what I mean. With the larger weaponed enemies, you kind of get, if you slow them, you get two ticks back, which is quite nice. So we'll just slow him and just, you can see the increased damage. We've just absolutely annihilated him. Right, so we're going to do this. Um, I wish I had a little bit more healing. It is what it is. It, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we'll just see how we go. Right. So in here, obviously when you're fighting multiple enemies, it's sometimes beneficial to kind of wait for the last hit because you can get kind of double hit. So if I... Uh, I'll slow him down because we're going to be in a bit of a fight here. And there you go. You can see he's hitting me twice. Uh... I will, well, I'll lower his defense. He's going to hit me back. I've absorbed a little bit of damage. It just means that my next attack is going to do a little bit more damage. 
So we will, again, absorb. There's no danger here of activating the absorb whenever it's available because they attack so quickly. I dodged, but then because he hit me twice, that activated for two ticks, I managed to get the absorb off still. If, he, if I hadn't have dodged, I'd have absorbed two lots of damage there, I believe. I don't know whether once you've absorbed the damage, you can't absorb it again, but I'm sure as soon as, as long as the ability is up, I'm sure you will be able to. So we're going to hit him back. Lovely crit. And again, sword enemies. So we can slow him down. He hits me back. I'm not going to activate this. I'm going to hit him normally. Should have lowered his defense. Doesn't matter. Now I'll do it. Now I'll lower his defense. He's going to whack me back. I've absorbed 800 and odd damage. And boom, in the bin he goes. Tornamada, you are next. And he's just so tanky for this. Again, we're going to slow him down because... I just don't want to get hit. So, uh, I've, I've, there you go. I've made the mistake. Hopefully, we can take him down beforehand. I've propped the absorbability. That's now dropped off. So, if I don't kill him outright, he's absolutely going to murder me. But I'm going to throw this at him, so that's not the case. Right. Tall Mader. Let's throw an axe at him. Load his defense. Now, I will, I'm not 100% sure. I think Tall is fairly slow still. Let me activate this and slow him. He will hit me back, but I dodge. Like, seriously. Like, let me lower his defense. He's, he's right. He's massively hit me there. Let's get this off. Right, there, there you go. I used that at the wrong time. So, let me lower his defense again. He's hit me back. Absorb. I, I don't think I'll survive another hit. I've dodged. I mean, seriously, you just want to, like, the one time you... I've cheated death thanks to Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, there's no point absorbing. He's dead. But I hope that that gave you a little bit of an insight of when and how to use this ability. Obviously, as you can see in the video, dodging and then missing, obviously, you can't negate that. You can't, you can't account for that when you're using the ability. But you can at least give yourself the best opportunity to absorb the damage and deal more back. So that way that you're taking damage, but you're getting something for it. And that's kind of the take from the video. So I hope uh, if you're going for Malway Ball, let me know in the comments section. Um, as I said, he is a very good hero, very fun hero. Found him extremely useful in the campaigns. Um, nice health pull, nice reduction of damage. So yeah, he's all in all a very good hero. So I hope this helped you out, Assassins. I hope you all stay safe. Have an amazing day. Good night, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.